Over the years, Scotland has had a varied history of car manufacturing with everything from family cars to sports cars and even electric cars. So to tell us more about Scotland's car electrification, let's meet Alan Davis. And here we've got the Sinclair C5. Alan, thanks for bringing this out today and uh, letting us have a look at it. Now, tell us about this. The Sinclair C5 was developed during the 70s and early 80s by Sir Clive Sinclair and his company. It had been his ambition since he was a, a youth to have a, a personal electric transport of some description. The vehicle has a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour. It has a maximum weight, which it falls actually well under. And anyone from 14 years upwards can ride it without a license, without a helmet, uh, without insurance. So it goes without saying it's not a particularly safe vehicle. Alan, at 15 miles an hour, there's probably very little chance you would see this in your rear view mirror. Why have you, why have you got the, the C5 um, decked out in police livery or, or Glasgow police li livery at the front with Polis? 30 years ago, this same uh, vehicle was decked out in proper police livery. Um, at the time, I was a police cyclist and briefly in the early 80s, I was the only police cyclist in Scotland. I thought the Sinclair C5 could have potential instead of um, pedal cycles, but in fact it didn't because it was very soon realised after its launch that it wasn't safe. It wasn't a safe vehicle to be in, uh, it wasn't safe for the rider, and as a police vehicle, I think it's fair to say it would have been totally inappropriate. So the idea was dropped. Now the C5 was in fact made in Wales, but we do have our own electric car in Scotland, the Scamp. And uh, Alan, let's go inside and find out a little bit more about it. So here it is then, the Scamp, made in Scotland in Presswick, one of the first electric cars. And uh, Alan, we're going to see if we can try and sit inside. Yes. Yeah. It's see very compact, can... but I think we should manage. I've got the I've got the tight parking space here. Try right. and get in. I don't want to hit the door off this lovely. I don't think it will matter too much. much. Right, we're in. Here we go. Hang on. I kind of feel like a bit like Postman Pat. Aye. <laughs> it's not far off. Right, we're in. Right. So, Alan, this feels like a replica or something. It doesn't quite feel like a real car of sorts, but it is. This is uh, a real car. It's one of 12 built and uh, launched at 1960, in 1967 at the Ideal Homes exhibition in London. Doesn't seem like they were too popular. No, it wasn't a success. At the same time as, as it was launched, it was tested by Myra at their test track, and within about three miles, it virtually fell apart. After that, the electricity board subjected it to a thousand mile test on ordinary roads, and again, it didn't do well. And to tie in with that, the chief executive retired, and he was the person who was most interested in it. So the car had failed, and the company were no longer interested in it. So there were no more built. So there we go, we tried the electric car in the 60s, it didn't quite work out, but you could say that Scotland paved the way for the electric car as we know it now. Well,